The Movie Bar Podcast. Welcome to the Movie Bar Podcast. Enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to our bonus episode, Fresh from the Stream, presented by the Movie Bar. Let's start the show. I'm John. I'm Justin. I'm Billy. Well, oh, this we week. Discuss- <laughs> <laughs> you added that in there. We will be discussing Beverly Hills Cop. Which is out on Netflix. Yes. How you guys doing this week? Besides a pain in my ass. Yes. Heat wave is over, though, as of 8 p.m. tonight, but I'm still sweating. But, uh. What heat wave? Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> It got to the 90s. And yeah, yeah, we've been in the 90s since fucking three weeks ago. Hmm. Uh-huh. Well, now it's time for our fresh from the stream. Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful day here in Beverly Hills. What the hell was that? Let me guess. Foley. Did you say Foley? Helicopter. I didn't realize that you couldn't really fly a helicopter. Otherwise, I would have came up with a different idea. I told you it was a bad idea. Oh, hey. He shot my rotor off. Shit, shit, shit. shit. You know, this is very embarrassing. You know, part of me rather get locked up than get put in this little Fisher Price looking squad car. Y'all are the Lego cops. Jane. Hey, this is your father. Before you hang up, I'm in town. I've been arrested. And... Hello? You sure y'all paying y'all's bills? Because this phone don't work. This isn't my first time in Beverly Hills. Yeah, I saw that. 84, 87, and then 94. But this place has changed a bit. What brings you back to 90210? I got a call from Billy. He's in trouble now. What do you want from me? I want you to be a cop again. You gotta do something. Axel, if you damage any city property... You're in a snowplow? Yeah, we're in a damn snowplow. What's the problem? A lot of blind spots in a snowplow. I'm on an undercover mission with Ach, wait for me. You're pissing off a lot of people. That means we're getting close. Y'all safe? Everybody safe? There's no seatbelt in the middle. What the hell with the seatbelt? We're on the edge! We're gonna need some backup. Whoa! What are you doing? I'm getting us some backup. God, I missed you, Axel. After his daughter's life is threatened, wisecracking detective Axel Foley teams up with a new partner and some old pals to turn on the turn up the heat on a conspiracy. Yes, Beverly Hills Cop Axel F is rated R for fun. Runtime one hour fifty eight minutes. Released July third, twenty twenty four. Director is Mark Malloy, with a budget of one hundred and fifty million, and is currently streaming on Netflix as well as for purchase on all streaming sites. I don't know if that's correct. I don't know if it's actually for no, purchase it's, yet. No, it's not. Not yet. No. Netflix doesn't put its movies on. Well, yeah, it doesn't. Well, well you can probably find it. They'll put it out on DVD soon. No, they don't do that either. Not anymore. They used nope. to. The last thing they put out on DVD was Fuller House. Oh. Uh, but their movies, I mean, if you go on eBay, you can find the movies on Blu-ray. But they're not really. <laughs> Somebody went on and burnt them. <laughs> yeah, and the subtitles are in Japanese and the menus in Japanese. Oh. But uh, 
All right. John's type of movie. Our yeah. cast of characters. Of course, we have Eddie Murphy as Axel Foley. Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Detective Bobby Abbott. <laughs> Taylor Page as Jane Saunders. Judge Ryan Hall as Billy Rosewood. John Ashton as Chief John Taggart. Paul Reiser as Deputy, Deputy Chief Jeffrey Friedman. Bronson Michel as Serge. And Kevin Bacon as Captain Steve Grant. Mm. All right. So it has been 30 years. 30 years since Beverly Hills Cop 3. Mm -hmm. 40 years since Beverly Hills Cop 1. Yep. And 37 years since Beverly Hills Cop 2. Mm. Why does it look like Eddie Murphy hasn't aged at all, but everybody else has aged horribly? Hey, I thought Judge Ryan would look pretty good for his mid 60s. They said it in the movie, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> or maybe they didn't say it in the movie. I heard somebody say it about it. I might get confused. Maybe. But still, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Thank you. It'll be our last episode. Even Joseph Gordon Lovett looks like he's fucking aged horribly. So let's discuss the, uh, the premise of this movie. <laughs> Obviously, we have Axel Foley out in Detroit. Yep. Causing all types of chaos. Yes, that 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 first scene with the through the after the hockey with the with the snowplow. Yes, the snowplow. Ah, oh, that was so much fun. I was giddy. That whole mm-hmm. scene of them in the hockey game was great. Oh yes, yes, yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> I like when he goes he in was the locker room. Like hockey. <laughs> when he when he goes in the locker room. My pads. What about the I'm pads? I'm a five sided Stanley go. Cup. <laughs> yeah. And you can tell this is a Netflix movie because cars were being destroyed left and right. Oh, yeah. He well, took out. That's a Beverly Hills cop movie. So, of course, the cars are going to get destroyed left or right. Yeah, but Thank Axel you. did a hell of a job driving the plow truck through a parking lot. A lot of blind spots, he said. <laughs> And I love when he goes, call it in, and the guy calls his wife. <laughs> you won't believe it. <laughs> uh, that was great. So do, do you guys think this movie kept to the originals? It's been a long time since I've seen one through three. I probably should have watched them before watching this one. I think it was closer to one and two than three was. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. This I, I, this was this was great. I love this film. That was wonderful. Yeah, good throwback. Good throwback. So, and of, of course, like, is it just me? Or is it like every time they go to do one of these movies thirty years later, it's always one of their kids that gets in trouble that brings them out. Well, yeah, you got to come up with that's, something. That's where your plot point is. Like. <laughs> Like, if we ever get a Lethal Weapon 5. Oh, God. Is it going to be Riggs and Murtaugh's kids fucking on the force? And they get shot and they have to come out of retirement. The what? Yeah, Butters. Oh, yeah, Butters. Butters, Yeah, Butters. butters. Uh, And Danny DeVito. No, Butters was Chris Rock. I know, and I said, and uh, Joe Pesci, I said Danny DeVito then. Fucking little people look alike. Wow. Wow. That's racist. And this has been... <laughs> I won't say her name, but a fan had asked me last week, so what was it that you said that could have gotten that you would have said that would have gotten you uh, canceled? I said, what episode? <laughs> you got to be more specific. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, the... Um, Last week's that I wasn't there for. Uh, Blazing Saddles. Yeah. I was like, I wasn't even on the episode. Yeah. They said, well, they said you said you would have said something that would have gotten you canceled. I said, I most likely would have. Yes. But let's not go there. Yes, let's not. Let's 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 stay on topic. We need to steer John away from those undertones. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So what did you like best about this movie? 
I just thought it was a really good story. I, I thought it was, it was good trying to, you know, with the whole daughter getting involved and not wanting to be, you know, with Axel there. Yeah. And them to coming the, together. To the point where she even changes her name. Hmm? And yeah. Fun. You. <laughs> yes. Totally makes me smile. It does. He does. I'm just every time I hear him talk now, I think a donkey. I don't. Mm-hmm. Um, I did like you... how like Taggart and and Rosewood yeah. both kind of looked after her in Beverly Hills. Yeah, and okay. they still held a grudge against each other. Mm-hmm. When they, when they were down in the uh, mansion, they're shooting. He's like, just apologize. Mm-hmm. So just say sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. No. Yes. What did you like least about this movie? Hmm. If anything, I mean, I don't know. The cast was great. I think the what? The cast was great. It took thirty years. Yeah. We could have had more of this. I know. Yeah. I mean, how much longer does John Ashton have? He looked. (laughs) He looked. You know. So really old. I mean, he is. He's in his 80s. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, he can't do this like many more times. Let me ask ask you this Do you think if we got this movie 20 years ago, it still would have continued on and eventually gotten to this point where in 2024 we're getting a Beverly Hills Cop movie? Or you needed a break after Beverly Hills Cop 3 because that one just got. Such bad. Yeah, I mean, I think that was. But I wouldn't have waited thirty years. I think ten years would have been fine. I mean, you always heard there was a new Beverly Hills Cop movie coming. Mm -hmm. There were always rumors. There's always rumors of a Lethal Weapon or another Die Hard or another whatever. Well, not anymore with the Die Hard, unfortunately. Yeah. But you know, eventually they'll reboot it and pass it on to the next person. But um, I mean, the actors in this movie, they they all looked. They all looked old, but I mean, that's to be expected. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, look at Jack Reynolds. He hasn't even really been in movies a lot. Even yeah. Luis Guzman. Guzman. <laughs> I loved him. <laughs> he was great. Like he's fucking looking old as fuck. I know he's old, but I mean. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean that's what time does to people, John. People, yeah, trust well, me. Still, I, I think I Judge, Judge Reinhold was fine. He was. Do you guys have a favorite scene that sticks out in your mind about this movie from this movie? Hmm. Good point. I like the scene with the uh, where the, the bad guys dangle his daughter off the back of the uh, the garage. I thought that was a pretty interesting way of intimidating somebody. <laughs> it's a good way to get your message across. But... Yeah. I think oh, my yeah. favorite scene is when they're trying to get back up and they uh, start fucking throwing shit out of the back of the truck. And, <laughs> and then they call the cop the cars crash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They you the ripped a the... cruiser! <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, I, 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 the whole movie was pretty good, but like picking a favorite part, I don't know. I mean, the the the, the whole scene inside at the hockey game, I guess that would probably be it. Just the way he had that guy going mm-hmm. yeah. the whole time. Well, you're yeah, a good man, detective. You know, the, the, the the Canadian Negro League. <laughs> you didn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, oh. I'm sorry. I can be better. <laughs> That's so yeah. good. Yeah. I'm sorry. I can be better. And I love how I was trying to make it like make it seem like it was the other detective's idea the whole time. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you, you see him over there. You know, he's probably robbing something. That's what that, I'm just here as a fan. <laughs> <laughs> um.
do you guys think this film would work out in like the real world? Like, do you think that? No. No. No, you don't think so? None of these no. movies would ever, ever work no in the real movie. world. You know no. there's some cop out there trying to be Axel Foley in real life. Yeah, and you know what? He'd end up plastered all over the uh, 6 o'clock news, all over yeah. the internet. He'd be tossed on his ass so fast. I want to public freak out on uh, Reddit. Reddit. Yeah. Yeah, there's a whole lot of body cam footage of guys that try <laughs> to be Axel Foley. Oh. <laughs> um... Obviously, this movie delivered in its genre action. Yes. Whether <laughs> and, and, and one thing, a, a, a comedy, yes. Sorry. One thing we didn't talk about yet. I want to give a shout out to Kevin Bacon. I thought he was oh, a yes. great villain in this movie, as the the cop turned bad. Oh, he was. I think it, it, the thing that sealed gummy. it for him was at the end. When he was mm-hmm. sniffing the coat, and you could like he was he was acting like a you know uh, a high and wired like real nerd like you know he he was doing it real good yeah uh, he's, he's like he's, he's an great. amazing actor you know he, he is can, you know we like just on this podcast alone we've covered him in um, taking chance what else have we done with Kevin I'm sure there's a few other ones. But, like, he's so versatile mm-hmm. as an actor. He can be the bad guy. He can be the good guy. He can be the fucking guy that's the asshole when it has to be. And, you know, still always loved him in Trapped. So, in the history of the comedy action genre, how do you feel this movie stands up with other action comedies? Well, just like in the Beverly Hills Cop universe alone, you know, I put this at number two. Easy. Number two. Number two behind the first one. Uh, okay. I think so, it was that good. Yeah. So let's let's rank the Beverly Hill Cops movies, the four movies. Billy, why don't you start off? No, it's one, Axel F, two, and then way down is three. Way down. Justin? Yeah, it's probably the same. Yeah. Man, it's not much to, not much wiggle room. I mean. The the first one, a classic. Absolute classic. Like, I think that's the thing with with, uh, originals, and then you start getting into all these sequels. They start becoming like the original and becoming more of a cash grab. Hmm. Like, yeah, but I think what really worked well with this one was they 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 owned everything. Like they uh, they you know uh, acknowledged the fact that Taggart wasn't in the third one, that he had mm-hmm. retired, and that he mm-hmm. decided to come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like they 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 stuck with everything they mentioned you know yeah his trip which is something rare and all that which is great yeah which is rare because because... in these movies like yeah they have this relationship but they don't actually bring up the previous movies or the previous stories half the time it's just you know they don't actually talk about it like that you know yeah like you don't hear Rambo three talking about something you did in Rambo one or anything like mm-hmm. that, you know. So, obviously, this was an easy casting. <laughs> bring bring yeah. back people from the past. Still wish they brought back Bogomil. Okay, but now you have to fill these new characters. Like, you know, the, uh, Saunderson and Justin Gordon Lovett's character. How do you feel they did with those castings? I thought they were fine. Yeah, like, I mean, he played, you know, you know George, uh, what's his name there? Freaking Joseph Gordon Levitt. I thought he played the whole millennial, you know, new age type, you know, softer side cop. 
role really yeah. well. The whole the whole scene with him and Eddie Murphy in the uh, helicopter. That was yeah, that was a good scene. <laughs> He's a helicopter <laughs> pilot. Fly the helicopter. I can't fly the. I helicopter. can't fly the helicopter. I crashed. Crashed. It got in my head. <laughs> Why am I just hearing about that now? We're in the helicopter. And they were crashing that thing for a good like five minutes. It felt like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he shot up my rotor. Well, do we have another one? <laughs> oh, they're going down the street. He can't get it up. Yeah, it's just right down yeah. Rodeo Drive there. <laughs> like only a Netflix movie could fucking crash a helicopter in Los Angeles. If that was even where it was filmed, huh? Yeah, you can use any golf course. So do you, do you think Netflix will? Oh no, they crashed on the golf course. That's right. Yeah. Um, they, were, they were at the uh, over by the police station for a little <laughs> that bit. Shooters type and freaking. Yeah. <laughs> that that's true. If they like like having him there and like. Is he basically being shooter? And now knowing that Happy Gilmore 2 is going to Netflix, I think that that was a pretty good little. Mm-hmm. I didn't even realize that was him. Really? Yeah, that was shooter. Yeah. I didn't realize that was Paul Reiser as uh, as uh, Jeffries. What? How do you I not? Ha- I haven't seen these movies in years. Oh, I can't remember the last time I've watched Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, I, I own them. Watched one and two. So. Yeah, I own them, but doesn't mean I've watched them. You should. I I will get to it eventually. Um, I'm currently you can in the watch some more Medea first. Uh-huh. I've watched all the Medeas. I'm on Shrek now. Shrek five coming out. Yes, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, do you think we'll see another? Axel F coming from I Netflix. Hope so. I hope so. You'll probably get at least one more. Yeah. Netflix uh, isn't too big on sequels, though. No. Unless it does really big, like the Santa Chronicles. Yeah. But sequels isn't really a forte that Netflix get into. I mm. wish they would get into physical media. Because, you know, now you have. Beverly Hills Cop 1, 2, and 3. And now you won't have Axel F on there. Netflix owns so many good movies that deserve physical releases, but they won't give it. Yep. Spencer Confidential, Point Blank, Axel F. I'm sure there's others. Um, do you felt everything was resolved in, at the end of this movie? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I, they wrapped up the story of actually I mean, reconnecting yeah. with his daughter. Yep. Which was the, the you know, kind of like the main story behind. Exactly. I mean, you know, the bad cop's going to get killed in the end. And yes. That that was a hell of a headshot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, um. Is there anything that kept you in, invested in this movie? The Story sheer line. nostalgia. So the for Billy, thing. yeah, it, it cut like Thanks. the action. You know what I liked yeah. at the beginning of the movie? They started playing all the different songs from mm-hmm. all the different uh, Beverly Hills movies you had. You know, Axel F. You had... Um, Heat is on. on yeah. Then you had, you know, Bob Seeger doing uh, Shakedown. It was wonderful. I loved it. Even the opening credits looked like yeah. it was out of the 80s. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was well done. I mean, the action kept you, the comedy kept you, and the story was good. It was all, it was all well done. Yes. Yes. Any closing thoughts on uh, Bev- I almost said lethal weapon, Axel Foley. <laughs> Beverly Hills cop, Axel Foley. 
Any closing thoughts on it? Do you guys want to share? Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Okay. I need it. I need it. Watch. See it. Give it to me. View it. Do we recommend Beverly Hills Cop, Axel Foley, Justin? Yes. Billy? Absolutely. Yes. All right, Justin, th- give us some ratings. Oh, IMDb gives it a 6.5 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes is a 66%. And Letterboxd, a 3 out of 5. What say ye, uh, Billy? I give it a 3 and 3 quarters stars. I'm with yeah, Billy on the three good. and three quarters. What do you think? Ah, let me get a three pack. There we go. Yay. Yay. That's, That's just lazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a rough <laughs> night. Leave him alone. That's where it is. Okay. I'm just. It's not quite a full balls. It's not as bad as a three and a half. No. no. Okay. That's a wrap on this fresh from the stream. Thanks for joining us today. Before we go, find us on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Podcasts, and most places you listen to your podcast like where you're listening to this one now. And don't forget to follow us on social media to stay updated on future episodes and join the conversation. You can find us on X slash Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at movie underscore bar underscore pod and at the movie bar podcast on Facebook. Until next time, keep the popcorn popping and the reels rolling, and we will catch you next time on Fresh from the Stream, presented by the Movie Bar Podcast. Mm-hmm.